Hello, so I just wanted to show off this magnetic stirrer that I've made uh, for the RoboTank controller. It will stir up uh, your dosing pump reservoirs and uh, keep things fresh inside. And uh, it's basically got two modes on it, an automatic and a manual mode. And you can have a battery in there. I'll show you that there. There's your 9 volt battery. So you can use the battery if, for example, um, I'll show you these little inserts here. I've got two sizes. Um, if you need a custom size, I can make one. But the idea of these is to hold uh, little API test tubes. Uh, so when you do your tests, so you can just stick this in here. There's four little legs on it and four holes in here. So it just sits on top like that. Put that in there. And now when we turn it on, you can see we've got a light. And we can turn our knob. And stir it up. Just pull that off. You can see the light. It's nice and bright. Um, I don't know. It's quite quiet. You shouldn't be able to hear too much out of there. On the back we've got um, a DC power input so you can plug this into the wall. Uh, any 12 volt DC adapter will work. You'll want to make sure you don't have a battery in there when you do that. Um, and down here we've got a green plug that uh, this will fit into. And there's a couple little labels on here, our ground, uh, negative, or positive rather, and um, our signal wire. The signal comes from the controller. So the idea is, um, if you use this as a stir for your um, reservoir, I'll show you my little reservoir, and inside here, screw the camera over here and show you inside. Get some power on. And there she goes. Crank it up. And you can see it's doing a nice stir. Now the light only works. There's two modes. This is manual mode, so that we control it and do whatever we want with it. And then we go up to auto mode. It still works in auto mode, but um, when it's connected to the controller, it won't work in auto mode. It would be off right now. And when you do a dose, um, before your dosing pump starts up, this will turn on for 30 seconds. It'll come on whatever you set it at. So if we go to manual, we adjust it to the speed we want it. So say we're happy with that, we flip it to auto mode. And next time uh, your dosing pump starts up, this will turn on for 30 seconds, stir up your reservoir, shut off, and three seconds later the dosing will happen. So that's basically that. So with the kit you'll get one of these 25 millimeter stir bars, this little 5 millimeter or 10 millimeter stir bar which fits nicely in this API test tube. Let's put this down. We can stick that on there. Turn it on and we're in business. So yeah. I'll just grab some solution here. Now this is just tap water, but so we're doing our test. One, two, three, four, five, let's say. Let it stir. And you can see a nice color in there, so you can compare it to your color chart that you get with the kit and you'll know what's going on with your tank. So yeah, you can connect up to eight of these on the controller. Um, it's using the LED channels, uh, channel 8 through 16. You can set the option on the controller to either be for an LED or to run one of these stirs. There's eight because you can have eight dosing pumps. So, so yeah, that's our little stir and thanks for watching.